Good morning, everyone. I am up bright and early. I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning just because I had so much to do for work today. Um, I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed and Kian is here in New York. So I'm like trying to balance working and also hanging out and he has work, but he definitely doesn't work as long as I do or like he has a lot of breaks out the day. His work is pretty slow right now, which is really nice for him. But um, yeah, I'm trying to balance like hanging out and doing some work. So right now I just kind of scheduled out my calendar. I am on LinkedIn because I like going on LinkedIn in the mornings to see if I can like repost anything, share anything, stuff like that. Right now I'm just going to do some pitching for a little bit and then at 10 a.m. I have a consultation. But I'm just going to do a bunch of pitching and reaching out to brands. I'm really excited. I updated my services on my website so I'll show you guys. So you just go to influencer marketing and then you see our services so i'm really excited about that so yeah i'm just gonna spend the morning pitching to brands and i have my coffee the apartment's kind of messy so probably gonna clean that later Another update for you. I'm still sitting on the same spot in the couch. I am now in workout clothes though, and I'll be working out later today. But I have honestly just been doing a lot of computer work. Um, I'm transferring over my podcast from Anchor to Red Circle. So I have to do a lot of like transfer stuff with that. And I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna have questions about why I transferred over to Red Circle because I do speak so highly of Anchor. Um, they are kind of like dealing with management stuff for me now so for ad revenue it just makes a little bit more sense and i like that they do like cross promotions but i can't give a definite like it's better than anchor or not yet because i haven't technically used it yet but i will definitely be giving you guys an update with my thoughts and my honest thoughts on if it's better than anchor or if i like which one i recommend but it's another one to consider if you guys are starting a podcast um but anchor is obviously still amazing like didn't really have any negatives with Anchor. Um, but yeah, I've just been dealing with emails, a lot of client work. Keon is in the kitchen making himself lunch. Or I had leftover Thai food and we made some pancakes for breakfast, which were really good. My pancake skills are getting really, really great. Like, if I do say so myself, Pranaya said that they tasted like IHOP. So, yum. I am very proud of myself. I'm a mess today. I'm going to go work out finally. We just like haven't worked out in a long time. Keon is cooking. What are you making? This is so uneven. I just turned it on. Yeah. Some mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms, so they're eating it all. I'm gonna make a turkey burger. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, this is just like my spot for the day. And just doing a lot of work today. Keon has been obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. So, um, <laughs> this is the show of choice. <laughs> Alright guys, just made it to the park. It's like the prettiest place to work out. The view is just so pretty. It's kind of my gym for the, for quarantine. It's been really nice weather, like, almost every single day that I've been here. And I've been here for like a month, like it's rained like twice. So I've gotten so lucky. It's like 70 degrees right now. Um, 75 maybe, so just gonna do a leg workout with Keon and then head back and it's nice because it's 3 o'clock so the park isn't that crowded today whether if you go at like 6 o'clock after work it's like so crowded
morning everyone i am in the kitchen about to make some breakfast i have already been doing a little bit of work today i have a call in about an hour a lot of stuff to do today but right now i'm just going to make some kale and egg saute the kale and then make the egg separately it's gonna be really good though i have never had kale with egg but i'm out of spinach so I figured it'd be good i'm pretty healthy stressed i just have so much to do today i really want to show you guys how i plan out my day um later on in this vlog but i have just not been the best vlogger have not been vlogging my day that much because i am just so freaking stressed so i'm going to be showing you guys how i organize my days so far if you guys have any tips for me i've been watching this class on asana it's like project management flow or something like that on skillshare and it's all about asana because that's the project management tool i'm using so i always like seeing how other people do like project like run project management and stuff like that just to see what i can implement in my own life so I have been using Skillshare for that, for that course. Skillshare really does have like a ton, a ton of things. Um, but right now I have just, I've done so much today and I really haven't shown you guys that much. I, I've edited my video. I uploaded a video. I have been like, I feel like my apartment just like needs to be clean. It has been clean. I had to send in a sample video, had a consultation. I'm having another consultation. I'm doing a Patreon Q and A. I just have a lot going on and complaining to YouTube is never going to make it better. So I to show you guys how I organize my messy life um, because I asked you guys questions if you guys had any because you guys have been asking me to do a planning video. So I'm going to be answering that in the Q&A today. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully this clip of me being disorganized is not going to deter you guys from wanting to see how I organize my day. But yeah, um, anyways, I have a lot to do. It is 3.30 and I have a consultation at 5 and then a Q&A at 7. So let's get, let's get on with the day. All right, let's get on with the day really liking this like workout outfit that i have on these shorts lululemon sports bra tank top and then my hair is just so soft i've been using this herbal essence argan oil after i shampoo and condition oh, it's just so soft and it's gotten really really long I'm going to be doing a planning Q&A all about how I plan. I figured it would be good to put this in today's vlog. I did want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. If you guys don't know, Skillshare is one of the largest platforms that you can literally learn anything that you want. They have so many classes from so many different instructors and industry leaders, and it's just a really great website if you guys want to sign up for it to literally learn anything. So I'm going to talk about it a little bit more, but 
I learned pretty much how to really optimize using Asana. I learned how to use Procreate to do my thumbnails, which has been the most exciting part. Um, I've taken classes from Gary Vee, which is like one of my favorite people on the internet, and I just really admire his work and his work ethic. So I've taken classes from him. It's just a really, really amazing resource. And then you can even go to like the reviews, you can go to discussions and have other people discuss about the course. You can do projects and resources and a lot of them have projects so you can actually like see if you have learned it and like put your what you learned to the test basically so many classes to choose from and it's really one of my favorite ways to learn and not just learn about productivity and work even though that's great too even just like creative classes like for example if i type in procreate right now all of these classes about procreate come up and they're all so amazing and you can really pick the one that's best for you so they have skillshare original classes but they also just have classes from people that are uploading them and you can see the time you can see how many students they had it's just a really great way to learn. I highly recommend it for picking up a hobby um, or just for trying to hone in on your skills. And if you ever have a question about something specific, I bet Skillshare has a course for that. The first 1,000 people get two months free if they use my link. So please sign up using my link down below. If not, it's literally less than $10 a month after that. So it is really inexpensive to learn a bunch of new things. I've talked about them so many times on my vlogs, but I really do love Skillshare. I've been using them for about a year now and I just feel like I have learned so much. Yeah, thank you so much for Skillshare for sponsoring today's portion of the vlog. First question that I wanna talk about with planning is how do you stick to your daily plan slash adjust it for when things take longer or shorter? So if you guys don't know, I time batch and I time batch like hourly like I always plan my day out let me show you guys my calendar for today and for yesterday okay so this is what my google calendar looks like you guys can tell the monday and tuesday is definitely a lot busier than the wednesday thursday and friday is empty which love to see that so basically every single morning i actually plan out my day hour by hour so that i know what i'm doing so yesterday i have pitching from 8 to 9 30 this isn't something that is like an appointment or anything but i knew that that's how long i wanted to spend with email pitching so i wrote that down there I had a consultation over here, then I had podcast editing and uploading, which I actually ended up not doing. I did end up doing stuff with the podcast, but I ended up kind of alternating pitching. So like sometimes things don't go 100% to plan, but I did want to have it in my calendar. Um, I had a syllabus that I'm doing an online course with this company, and so I had a syllabus that was due, and so I wanted to spend about an hour working on the syllabus. Editing my YouTube video, I allocated about one and a half hours for, because this is actually the one that was going to be uploaded today. I even have my workout in my calendar, because this is a priority for me. I really do want to work out, so I have my workout in my calendar, just so that I know when I can fit it in, and then I had a call for Barbu Agency, and then I also had to do these like herbal essence. I'm doing a sponsored post with a company, so I wrote down when I wanted to do the stories um, over there. So that is what my day looks like here. Sometimes things don't go to plan. I mean, this, a lot of things actually didn't go to plan and got moved around, and I didn't really adjust it in the calendar because it was just in real time, but sometimes things don't go to plan. I actually ended up not doing the stories yesterday and m put it today um, when I had time, so I had a little gap right here, so I actually did it then, and it's not in my calendar, but Whenever it's laid out this way, it is just a lot easier for me to see and a lot easier for me to accomplish because then I'm like, wait, I actually can manage to do everything that I need to do in one day. And it just makes it really easy to figure out when you, if you actually can do everything that you need to do, because it's stuff, sometimes you'll put things in the calendar and you'll realize you literally don't have enough hours in the day to do it. So then you'll just have to make it tomorrow and that's okay. So by me, time blocking and color coding means that, um, I can actually see everything that I have going on for the day and sometimes it kind of freaks me out though how many different tasks I need to do like this was kind of all over but Mondays are typically like that uh, and then today yeah I had like work on my YouTube video um, and then over here again since I had that gap I actually did whatever I didn't do yesterday during that time I had to prep for a client because I had a consultation at 11 a.m. so I did that uh, I had a call at this time, I worked out at this time, and I always allocate like an hour and a half to working out because I want to make sure that I can like shower and get ready and all of that stuff then. 
I had to do a sample video. This is when you guys saw me vlog last. And right now here is kind of my break. So I'm vlogging, I'm keeping up with everything. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, I'm still working, but it is my break of like, okay, what haven't I done that I kind of need to do here? And then I have a consultation later at five and then my Patreon Q&A from seven to eight. So kind of in all these gaps, I do all of my like things that I don't necessarily need scheduled. Like I posted something on LinkedIn. I asked an Instagram Q&A, vlogging, things like that. And then over here, which this is actually not true, so I should delete that. I have everything that is due. So it's all my sponsorships that are due. So like yesterday I had the syllabus due, like I said. Um, then I also had like a sample video due, an integration due, a a consultation that I actually still have not done so that's important to note so I probably should put that somewhere in here maybe put it right in between my Q&A and my consultation that could work I have a another consultation due for uh, a client of mine so here's all of like my my due dates are up here so any sponsorships that are due anything that i have to upload any youtube videos that i'm uploading i'm putting them all above here i'm not putting them in the hour by hour but here is where i plan my day hour by hour sometimes things don't go to plan but that's okay it's not ever going to be perfect you can always move things around that's why i like having this digital calendar because see i can like easily drag things around if i need to or send another invite and it's not like a paper calendar where you're like scratching things off someone asked if i have ever tried bullet journaling and what i think of bullet journaling so what my thoughts are is that for me i don't like bullet journaling because one i'm not very artistic so for me bullet journaling is a lot of like artwork that needs to be done and i feel like if it didn't look good i just would get mad at myself because i like like things to look good but i'm not artistic so what i would do is I think I would spend way too much time creating the journal and then never writing in it. I think it's kind of for me a waste of time because I'm like only thinking about the way it's going to look and then it actually like takes me like three hours to make and that's like wasting time in itself. So I don't like it for me but I think it's great for people in terms of like being very therapeutic and just like zoning off and just drawing in your bullet journal but to each their own I personally like having a digital planner way way more. Someone asked me how I plan on filming for vlogs. I seem to be so present but also enjoy the story that is really nice because sometimes i feel like my vlogs are so boring i feel like they're just put together like super choppy like that's why i try adding like music and fun titles and different little things to make it seem a little more interesting because no one wants to watch a vlog that's just like clip after clip after clip after clip so i do always try to tell a story i always try getting like montage shots um but vlogging to me doesn't seem like that much work until i like have so much i have to do and then i forgot to vlog and then things are due then things can get pretty stressed out but like i really do like vlogging i kind of just anytime i'm doing something where the camera can be set up i'll try to do that but i do need to get better at showing and not telling because that's the biggest thing when it comes to vlogging is just like taking people throughout your day but like really take them throughout your day like if you're cooking don't just be like oh guys i cooked here's my food like show yourself cooking you know so i think that's the biggest thing is to really show not tell which is something i am working on and then next i want to talk about asana and then i'm going to wrap up the video and i think end the vlog here because I have a lot to do today and I want to start another weekly vlog tomorrow. So let me pull up Asana. So I have my social media, podcast, YouTube. This is all of my own personal stuff. So if you see here, I have different teams. So my first team is Barbu Agency and then my second team is myself. Um, so I have my own personal social media stuff. If you click on that, it's like a list of YouTube ideas, any YouTube videos that are in progress. I don't really update this as much as I should. Um, my podcast guest list is really important because I always want to write down people that I want to have. That way, once they get off the guest list and into future podcasts, it's really exciting. And I can also tell my intern who to pitch to and who to reach out to. Um, and then podcast features list. So this is when I want to get on more people's podcasts. So if you open this, there's actually like a Google Sheets here where we write down all of the podcast features that I have been like pitched to, what they have said, and all of that stuff. So it's all really organized in one place. Um, and then if you look over here to sponsors, I don't really want to show all of the sponsors, but here's everything that I have lined up. I know that seems like a lot of sponsorships, um, but I will have like the brief, the contract, and all of that stuff in here. And it's just like, this isn't all like sponsored content. A lot of this is like brand work that I'm doing that's going to live on the 
um, brands account so it's just extra work that I'm doing and then sponsorships throughout so exciting things coming but yeah it's just easy because like today I had to shoot these like Instagram stories so the brief is right here and I could just like click on the brief and easily get to it instead of scrolling through my email list so for Barbu agency I have my client which I'm not gonna open up but I do have my client there I have consultations where sometimes I'll write down like who I need to research post consultation a la carte services like who I need to do I honestly don't update this as much because I do have everything like in my calendar so it's just like easier to look up that way but I have updated it in the past just this week I've been really lacking and then Barbu agency content so here is all of my content for Barbu agency here is our main logo our secondary logo and we have our branding so we have both the logos there I have my overview so this is some of the things that we send out like in emails like this is kind of like all my services and then my pricing I have here, which I'll send out to people if they ask for it. Um, I have a social media calendar, which actually my intern created for me, which has been such a lifesaver. So I'll go on here and see all of the social media posts for Barbu Agency that needs to go up. And we're really heavily focusing on LinkedIn. So it's like really, really helpful if you guys can see. She created this, which is just so helpful. And she's like been helping me post. Um, and then I also have like legal contracts. Here's just a template of my contract to send out to clients influencer database I am creating an influencer database so here's all of their information um, and then if you look over here I have just like for the Instagram account which has been lacking is where I put the post that I'm going to be creating any upcoming blog posts any upcoming LinkedIn posts that I need to like work on my patreon content I have a lot of ask me anything's coming up like ask me anything series and here's where all the graphics live and then I was gonna do a webinar but that's pushed on hold so this is no longer relevant um, and then here is a separate client of mine that I won't go into but it's just all of their information on there and it's really easy you just go to your inbox and you can kind of communicate in the comments and communicate with your team I've really loved uh, learning about like learning new project management tools and I used to use Trello but now I'm on the Asana train um, but if you guys have any other questions or want me to kind of do a whole dedicated video, I feel like this is pretty in depth, then you guys can comment it down below. Let me know your thoughts, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here just because I'm going to do my Patreon Q&A and then probably just chill out and relax. Um, but yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the vlog. Let me know what your thoughts on it were and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Bye guys.